All right, Cav Nation, are you ready? Cav Nation! We're ready! Yes, Tim, we miss our students! Yes, we're ready! Okay, Cav Nation, are we ready to welcome these students back? I know we can do better than that. Yes, we miss the students. We are ready! We're ready, Tim! Okay, Cav Nation, are you kidding? Are you ready? Cav Nation, where are you? All right, are we ready? One, two, three, we're, we're ready! ready. Let's, Let's do this! Swords up! You bet we're ready! Go, Go Cav! Swords up! I think we gotta get some energy in here. I think we need a better way. We need to get fired up about this. Whoa, I have an idea. I wonder if I should check with the cabinet first. Ah, Wilson, what do you think I should do? Yeah, Tim, I love it. You know, I have been here a year. I think it's time to take these training wheels off I tell the whole campus, you're empowered. If you think you should do it, do it. I'm just going to do it. Chris, 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 I have an idea. But seriously, folks, it is so good to welcome back Cav Nation as we resume, as we continue our noble work. Our work, we are in the business of truth, seems to be more challenging each and every single day. But COVID or COVID, no matter, it does not matter because Walsh is a special place and we're a special place because of each one of you. So united, together we're going to come together once again to learn and to teach how to be leaders in service to others. To teach and to learn how to live an honest life. To learn and to teach right from wrong. To teach and to learn fact from fiction. In fact, we're actually going to teach and learn what Brother Francis, the third president here at Walsh University, taught all of us and that was to be pillars of strength in integrity and wholeness of our persons. You see, this mission that we have to build leaders in service to others in the light of values in this Judeo-Christian tradition is just so important and it starts and ends with each one of us. In fact, you are what makes Walsh, Walsh. So I think as we begin this new academic year, perhaps we should step back for just a second and reflect on the thoughts of another educator, a 20th century Austrian-British philosopher. And he said in regards to education that our aim is to prevent understanding that is unaccompanied by an inner change. And how is it that we're going to go through this inner change? We are going to go through this as a community, not as an institution, not as a concept, but in the words of the Church Fathers of Second Vatican Council, as a reality to be lived. And in that way, we are able to continue this 2,000 year conversation at Walsh University with the rest of the world called the Catholic intellectual tradition. We will continue a 900 year effort to provide a higher level of education 
a system that was invented by the Catholic Church. We're going to be able to further a 200-year mission of the Brothers of Christian Instruction. And this year, we get to kick off, celebrate the 60th year, our 60th anniversary of successfully providing higher education here at Walsh University, here in North Canton, Ohio. We are consecrated to the cause of truth. We are dedicated to each one of our students, to helping them to take their place, and yes, discover their life's purpose. So are we ready? Yes, we are ready. And so we thank Our Lady Perpetual Help for her prayers, for her intercession, for her protection. And we pray that God will bless America and that God bless Walsh University. Swords up! <laughs>